what's up YouTube? Back with your boy Luke. Hey guys, today's video is going to be about how to get a Century Pass. And for those of you who don't know what a Century Pass is, a Century Pass is a travel document, kind of like a driver's license or a little passport card. And it allows you to cross the border in special lines and special places without having to wait in line behind the tons of other people that are walking across the border every morning. Folks, that's a big deal. There can be two or 3,000 people in line in Tijuana crossing to San Diego. There can be four or 500 cars per lane. And this Century Pass allows you basically to cut in front of everybody and go first. Hey guys, let's get right to it. But go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel. For those of you who don't know, I do videos all about Mexico, all about Tijuana. I lived in Tijuana for 10 years. I'm here to help you guys out. All right, guys, check this out. When I got my Century Pass, what I did right around the border, there's all kind of areas that say Century information, information packets. There's little desks, little kiosk. You can go there, you can pick up some information, and it will guide you to where to go online. Now, back in the day when I got my Century Pass, I just asked the Border Patrol agent, excuse me, the U.S. Customs officer when I Across the border, I said, hey, I want some Century information. And he pointed me over to another desk. I walked over there and they gave me actually a paper application, much like a driver's license application. But now I understand it's online. So here's the deal, folks. This application is like a souped up government background check. They're going to ask you everything under the sun. Name, date of birth, social security number, previous addresses, place of employment. They're going to ask you a lot of questions about your family, your family's criminal history, all kinds of stuff. I can tell you right now, if you have a felony or you have a misdemeanor, you're not getting it. If anyone in your immediate family has a felony criminal conviction, you're not getting it. Doesn't matter that you didn't commit the crime, you're not getting this pass. All right, guys. So there's two types of century passes you can get, pedestrian and vehicle. Now, it's pretty much the same thing. So what you're going to do, you're going to pay a fee and you're going to submit this application. Now, once you pay a fee, you submit the application and your live scan fingerprints, then they're going to bring you in. If you pass the background check, they're going to bring you in for an interview. Now, my interview was pretty serious. This guy wanted to see my proof of income. Where did I work? Why did I want the Century Pass? Where did I live in Tijuana? Why was I living in Tijuana? He had a ton of questions for me. And in the end, he made me sign a waiver that said that if I was granted this century pass and I was granted this special access that was a privilege, not a right, if I did anything illegal, that I would be, I would stand to suffer stiffer prosecution because I'm a trusted traveler. So basically what they're saying is if we give you this and we catch you doing something illegal, we're really going to throw the book at you. All right, guys. So. Basically what happens, I wound up getting the Century Pass and then I wound up losing both of them and I'll tell you about it. So for the car though, for the car Century Pass, the car Century Pass works like this. You got to show them your insurance. You got to show them your registration. You got to show them your driver's license. Everything has to be in check. Your passport, everything has to be up to date. Okay. No one can be in that car if they don't have a Century Pass also. Well, what happened to me? I got pulled over for a traffic violation something stupid like running a stop sign or something like that. And when I got pulled over, I never did report it to Homeland Security like I was supposed to. About six months later, I walked through the line. He let me through and then he lifted my century pass, my pedestrian pass, and told me I could go get it back and the steps I'd have to jump through. So I went back, talked to him, had the interview again, and they actually gave it back to me. Now, the second time I lost my century pass, and this is crazy, but it's the absolute truth, I was in a car across the border and they searched the car and inside the car I had my lunch packed and I had fruit in my lunch. I'm stupid. I shouldn't have done that. And they lifted my century pass. And at that point in time, I didn't even go back for it. I already had plans on other things I was going to do and I didn't go back for it. But yeah, the century pass is super cool. It will save you guys a lot of time. It would allow you to jump right back and forth across the border. It's super cool, super easy. But be careful or you'll lose it. Hey, guys, listen, like my channel, subscribe to my channel. I appreciate you guys. Any other questions you have about Mexico, let me know. I'll be happy to make a video for you. Peace out, guys. Be careful.